Okay, so today we have a lot of useful gadgets. Gadgets that can convert your home into a smart home. Gadgets that stop people from stealing your money. And even gadgets that can give you non-stop internet in just 200 rupees. Huh? Are you serious? Just, just I'll tell you. Hang on. But the most important thing is all these gadgets are under 1000. And we have used them personally in our daily life. So we'll share our practical experience. Let's go. Okay, so first up we have this cute little device. It cost 1089 and this is a really cool one. I'm so excited for this. First, let me show you what it does and then I'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so this is my phone and now I press the button. And boom, the AC turns on. And this is not a smart AC. This is an old AC. Plus, I'm using this Pixel 3. It doesn't even have an IR blaster. Okay, now the how did I do it part? Well, this is an IR hub and you can connect up to 8 devices to this. And you can convert 8 devices into smart devices at the cost of 1, I guess. All you have to do is install the homemade app on your phone. Connect this hub with the app. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Now select which device you want to control. Like you can do AC, set-top box, TV. Like we selected AC in our case. Now search for the AC brand and it will automatically sync your AC with the phone. But how does this thing actually work? See, yeah, I'll show you. So you have the AC here, smart hub here, and then you have the phone. So what it does is when you press the button on the phone, it sends a Wi-Fi signal to the hub and then the hub converts the signal into IR signal and then it sends it to the AC. And this works on the internet as well. So you don't need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi every time, which means if I want to turn on AC before I reach home or if I forgot to turn off the AC, I can do all of that outside as well. And you can also connect this device to Alexa or Google Assistant and then Alexa stop. Alexa stop. Stop. And you can also connect this device to Alexa or Google Assistant and then you can say Alexa turn on air conditioning. It's set to cool. Ah, it works. Alexa turn off air conditioning. It's off. Works seamless. But there are two catches here. First, the range is small. Like since this hub is sending the IR signals, it has to be placed within visible range of the device. Like you can't place this in the hall and ask it to turn on the bedroom AC. It won't work. And secondly, this can only work with devices that have a remote like TV, AC projector and all. So as far as you can understand, if you have a lot of remotes, like one for the TV, one for the set top box, one for the sound system, with this hub, you can combine all of that into one and use it right from your phone. Very handy. Nine out of 10. Recommended. Next up, we have this cool card holder and this costs 650 rupees. Now, would you like, why 650? Well, see, we have a lot of debit cards today. Few of you may also have a credit card. Use it wisely. Stay wiser, subscribe to TechWiser. For tech, not finance. And almost all modern cards are now NFC, so you can just tap and pay. But this can also be dangerous. If you bring your card close enough to the card machine, you can transfer your money without even entering your PIN. Though tap to pay only supports transaction up to 5,000, but 5,000 is still a lot of money. Like listen carefully, card and internet frauds in India are rated at about 155 crores. And this card has to be just like four centimeter away from the machine and without PIN or OTP, payment can be done. That's scary. Like see here, I'm at this store and while doing the card payment, I have only one card inside the wallet with tap to pay enabled. And if I touch the wallet on the POS machine, payment is done without entering anything. Now to stop this, there are two ways. Number one, you'll have to go to your bank's website and completely turn off contactless transactions. But then you'll actually be sacrificing convenience. Instead, you can get this RFID card holders. What it does is there is a layer of aluminium in these card holders and it blocks any signal from making contact with the card. So now with RFID holder, if I bring it close to the machine, Nothing happens. No payment is done. I will have to remove the card from the holder and then only it works. So an extra layer of security in this modern day world. Now you even get this strap where you can store a little bit of cash. Also, these people give you a nice metal keychain so you can strap it on your jeans or bag. And if you enjoy all of this, subscribe to TechWiser. Wise tips without cash. Free. But the major con of this wallet is if you have a lot of cards, you cannot select which card you want to use. Like every time you have to push like this and take out all the cards and then select but it works like if you have one or maybe two cards so six out of ten the concept is brilliant but you can get a better card holder recommend it up next we have this light bulb from panasonic it cost 475 but this is not any bulb this has motion sensor so in theory if i install this bulb in this holder it should light up because it detects motion and then it should turn off when it not detects any motion
मैं चला जाता हूँ इट शुड टर्न ऑफ इवेंचुअली एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सी हाउ दिस वर्क इज देर इज अट सेंसर इन साइड दिस बल्ब सो वंस इट सेंसेज अ चेंज इन टेम्परेचर लाइक वेन अमन इज वॉकिंग और अ कार इज पासिंग बाय द टेम्परेचर चेंजेस सो इट स्विच इज ऑन द लाइट एवरी ह्यूमन इज हॉट साइंटिफिकली बट देन अगेन थियरी इज जस्ट थियरी इन रियल लाइफ इट डजेंट वर्क दैट वे लाइक सी हियर वी इंस्टॉल्ड इट इन दिस बल्ब होल्डर एंड इट लाइट्स अप नाइस बट इट रिमेन्स लिट अप इवन वेन देर इज नो वन इन द रूम लाइक सी हियर देर इज नो वन इन दैट रूम एंड द लाइट इज ऑन सो इज इट डिटेक्टिंग गोस एंड समटाइम्स इट टर्न ऑफ ऑटोमेटिकली इवन वेन देर आर पीपल सिटिंग इन द रूम हाउ स्ट्रेंज सो मे बी यू कैन इंस्टॉल दीज इन योर बाथरूम और योर कबर्ड बट आई वुड नॉट रिकमेंड यूजिंग इट इन द लिविंग रूम Two out of ten gimmicks. Stay away from it. Up next, we have this gaming mouse from Amazon Basic. This costs five thirty rupees, and this looks so dope. Like, see here, this logo lights up, and it is RGB. Good gamer touch. Sam forced me to say this. The inner feel is very nice. Like it is not too big, not too small. Seems like the perfect fit. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons. Like these thumb buttons, you can go forward and backward while browsing in Google Chrome. Then you get these two left finger buttons, which changes the mouse sensitivity or DPI. And then you get this extra button at the bottom. So if you're playing CS:GO, you can set reload to this thumb button and grenade to this finger button. So every time you need to reload, you don't need to hit the keyboard or just. Use these buttons. Very handy. Two people, two, and even using this as a regular mouse in video editing, browsing, the whole experience is quite nice. Eight out of ten recommended. I hope this white portion doesn't get dirty over time. Next up, we have this power cable. This cost one ninety nine, and this looks like a very simple cable, right? Well, this has a very important utility. So suppose you live in a place where there is a lot of power cuts. I'm talking about myself. So when there's a power cut, the router turns off. You lose the internet. With this, you don't need to worry about losing the internet anymore. So I'll show you how. You have to connect this USB end to a power bank, and you have to connect the DC end to the Wi-Fi router. Now connect this power bank to a wall outlet so it can charge all the time. And in an event of power failure, the power bank will keep the router switched on. Full time internet connection. Of course, you can buy a power bank UPS online. It costs fifteen hundred to two thousand rupees. Does the same job. But in case if you have a spare power bank lying in your home. You can save some money with this. Always save money. So overall, a really handy cable. Eight out of ten recommended. Next up, we have this five-in-one gadget cleaner, and this cost only one eighty-nine. Like it's so fun to do it. <laughs> do this. Like I can clean my laptop, keyboard, TWS, and other gadgets too. But does it work? Well, let's find out. So we'll ask Team TW members to donate their dirty gadgets so we can clean them. Zoom, zoom into this keyboard. How long has it been since it's cleaned? तीन साल लेके नहीं सो यू ऑल्सो गेट दीज की पुलर्स विद दिस गैजेट सो यू कैन जस्ट डू दिस एंड पुल द कीज एज सिंपल एज दैट एंड यू कैन यूज दिस लॉन्ग ब्रिसल्स एंड जस्ट क्लीन इट एंड नाउ वी हैव मनु मनु गिव अस योर डर्टीएस गैजेट दैट वी कैन क्लीन Airpods. Airpods. So now in this five-in-one brush, you can open the handle and you get more cleaning tools. And you open this. You get this long cleaning handle or brush. So now with this, I can remove the TWS and clean here on the inside. It is actually dirty. Yeah. And the TWS you can clean with this small brush, bristles. and if you have some wax in the tips you can clean it with this so yes i think we did a really good job manu can you check and how much would you rate our skill <laughs> of cleaning gadgets looks nice 7 or 8 out of 10 it's a nice it's a nice now change your profession you did a pretty good job thank you so a good little handy tool 8 out of 10 recommended next up we have another one from amazon basics this is the screw driver set it cost a little bit more than 1000 around 1399 but it is very handy you get all the essential screw heads like you get 58 pieces more than what you need and you can change the heads like this the grip is quite good too like you can confidently twist the screws no need to apply any extra pressure and you can even interchange the head like this and use them accordingly so for instance if you need to open a laptop you are good to go just change the screw head and here quick and simple but if you have a macbook this amazon basic screw driver set will not work then you will need something like this which has pentalo 5 screws specifically designed for the macbook you know you live in a different world if you have apple devices also these screw drivers are chrome vanadium coated so it doesn't catch rust or go bad and doesn't spoil your screws and like a wise man once said you buy an expensive tool once and a cheap tool twice a month who said that which wise man was that you
Was that you? So the Amazon basic screwdriver set, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Recommended if you have a laptop, TV or you frequently open up things. For MacBook, get the other one. So yes, that was the list. Let us know which was your favorite device or if you want us to review any more gadget, drop a comment. We may pick it up and give you a shout out. On that note, this is Radeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew pew. Pew.